Let's move uh, on. So there was a there's a story about um an older fag. Mm. He was about F A G or P-H-A? F A G. Ooh. And he was in his 50s, and his next door neighbor was in his 30s, and he had a wife. And this older fag slept with this man. Mm-hmm. Now they became really neighborly. Like the straight man, quote unquote, um, had a tool house. A, set up. Wait, a tool house? Uh-huh. The fag had an attic that he wasn't using. And, and, and he stored tools in there. Correct. And the straight man from next door didn't have money for a garage. You know, usually fags have a lot of discretionary income. Okay, wait a minute. I don't understand what that means. Do I have discretionary income? Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. All of us in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mo, do you have discretionary income? not a fag. (laughs) Fags usually have discretionary income. (laughs) Mo, you better step your pussy up. (laughs) You better step your straight pussy up, Mo. So... The straight man used to go over to the fag's house and work in his in his shed and stuff, you know, because the fag let him make a shed in his attic. And so one night they were playing cards and stuff and drinking beer. Straight, okay, let's do this because I need to take I need to I need to tap you on your shoulder. Okay. Yes. Yes. So that you can hear me. Uh, hello. Yes. Craig. Yes. Hello. If a woman is allowed to have an experience with another woman, mm-hmm. an and experience meaning one, or however many experiences that she chooses, okay, to have an experience with another woman and then return to her children and her family and still be a heterosexual woman, the same applies to a man. Well, what had happened was he realized that he was a fag. He had been married and had a couple kids. And what happened was he enjoyed being over at that fag's house, that older fag's house. And this went on for years. And then what happened was the fag hadn't had con- had hadn't had any contact with the straight man for over five years. And then out of the blue, the fag gets an email from the wife stating what? I know you slept with my husband, you fag. But why is she angry at the poem? Well, what happened was the fag emailed or text messaged the straight man and said, your wife just emailed me. And then the the straight man explained that they were going through a divorce and she was lashing out. But she always kind of suspected something was going on. But she was overlooking it because was- she was overlooking it. And in fact, she would tell her husband, go on over there with your um, what did she call him? I, I had it in the story. <laughs> this isn't my story, but it's very similar. <laughs> that lady emailed me too, and I put her email in my second book. One thing for certain, two things for sure. I need to speak on this. And I need everyone's attention. Craig, I have told you countless times, Mm -hmm. there are so many women out there, Mm. even those that are on the breakfast club, that have had these experiences where these men are fucking, sucking, bucking, or having an experience with the same sex, whatever, and they do not leave. I don't think Angela Yee had that experience. We're not talking about her. Oh. <laughs> no matter <Mark> there. <laughs> and we and they do not leave. And when they do not leave, they become angry. And they become angry at the punks. And it's not the that punk's fault. Let's play devil's advocate. Come on. These same women, do they get as angry when their man is with another woman? No, because they get angry, but it's not. It's it's because it it begins to make them question. Well, I'm a because this is the this is this is the this is the line that's used when they're reading poems. Mm. And I quote: "I'm a real woman. Mm. I have a real pussy. Mm. I can have his real children. You are a man. You will never be me. You will never ever in your life be me." I'm the real thing. 
you're not woo woo woo. It's the same things that I'm faced with all the time. Mm -hmm. And I always retort with that. You always what? Retort. Oh. With that is great and fine and dandy. I'm not angry with you because those are the things, because that's what God made you. But God also made me a fag. Uh, mm. And he also made me a fag, and he made me a fag that wants to wear women's clothing, hair, <laughs> lipstick, all the things. And these, he made me these things, and it has not stopped me from fucking no nigga. And so it's not my fault. I, I'm not the one that fucked them. I'm not the one that sucked them. I'm not the one that cummed in them. I'm not the fault they did that, those things. So there's no reason for you to feel some type of way towards me. When people get into the space of understanding, that the space of what? Understanding that sexuality, come on, Craig, help it's me out. It's instinctive. It's instinctive. Not, that's right. It's how you're wired. It's not a choice. It's not a decision. That's just what it is. You didn't choose your skin color, hair color, eye color. You don't choose those things. Those things are biological. So once we start to understand that. Once we put our mind space in that and understand that, we would look at those experiences in different ways. For what they are. For what the fuck they are. We would look at that in a different box. like, And we wouldn't put, Greg, I can go out here tomorrow and I could get up tomorrow, take me a Viagra pill, and fuck every woman in this neighborhood. And you're still a trans girl. And I'm still a trans trans woman. I'm still a she, 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 whatever the fuck, whatever pejorative. I'm talking to the girls that watch this that you like to use the pejoratives against me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not talking to the man and mom. Y'all know how what it is. I'm talking to the outsiders that creep in and take pieces of what I say and they and they try to weaponize it. So here we go. You could ride my dick tomorrow. Do what? You could ride this dick tomorrow. <laughs> I don't really want you because you're my <laughs> sister. I don't want you. Girl, you can have a couple of little kids running around here. But I don't want her. I don't want her. I wouldn't want her. Girl, come out of that key. I just need to be. I wouldn't want her. I, I want her as my That's my sister. Come, come out of that key. Bro. I don't want her. <laughs> I want you to speak in a jocular tone. I don't want her. That's my sister. That goes for anyone. That is just it. Mm. And there are a lot of men that are in lot that are in a lot of these people's lives because of social construct. And you cannot be angry or mad at the punk. Or the get, you can't harbor those feelings towards towards these things because of the experiences that you've had. All of you ladies out there, turn up your radio. Girl, I don't know that one. Girl, what is that? Bitch! Oh, Bill. And he was God of the I do know that. Son. But it looks like oh, Billy wanted to be his stepmom. She was ready for Mary, Susan, Pellin, or Jane when all the time it was Bill. That was sleeping with my man. Um, but if you listen to the lyrics of the song, she said she was ready for Helen, Mary, Susan, and Jane. Well, she wasn't ready for Bill. No. She wasn't ready for Bill. When all of that is a part of what? Instinct. Come on. Instinctual. Yes. All of that is a part of that. That's right. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, you know Ray J and that girl Princess Love getting divorced again. Girl, why? Yeah. Girl, this like their fourth. Excuse Child, me. This is like their fourth all, announcement. Ray J, you might well stay with that girl. She don't seen the. She don't. She don't seen the inside of those drawers. You came up here on the internet and told us that the inside of your drawers is shitty. That's why you wear black drawers. She don't seen that. The, the next woman is gonna put those same drawers that she don't see on the internet for us to see. <laughs> so you might well go ahead and stay with her. And Princess. You don't watch them shitty draws. I just want them to tell us when they divorce and move into separate houses. 
Why we got to keep getting these announcements and well, then they don't get they divorced? divorced? Did they, did they Who knows? Well, one time it was because Ray J was uh, cheating. Yeah. Let her find. Let her. Let her. Let him find. She done bought the man. Oh, it's over. She gone then. That'll really make her leave. <laughs> but, uh, that'll. Re- well, I don't know because these girls don't really leave like they say. <laughs> I know one right now that's getting ready to marry my my husband. <laughs> they don't leave like they say. I'm like, girl, all right. Girl, I have vanished. <laughs> <laughs> they don't leave like they say. <laughs> My dog did that. But like, why keep announcing? Went on his Instagram and unfollowed me. Who? Oh, oh. Ooh. The one you, the messages Went on you his show me. Instagram and unfollow me. The ones you showed me the other day. Yes. Went on his Instagram and unfollowed me. Like, I, girl. So you got that app when you know somebody unfollowed. I'm me. not. I'm not the only girl. Listen, I just be having fun. I, I'm not the only one. You gotta, you gotta deal with the voices that ain't, that they ain't following. <laughs> They don't leave. Don't be fooled. <laughs> don't you be fooled. Don't you ever be fooled by that. But I've heard a lot of, I've, well, I won't say a lot, but I've heard Put quite TD a few. comment up there. Which one? TD. Oh. And now that's some real ass shit right there. Ooh, that's some real shit oh, right yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't. I don't give a fuck about that. They don't give a fuck. That shit's out the window. Hmm. There is. I told him, I actually told him, nigga, you need to work that shit out with this girl because I bet you can't stay here. Because <laughs> I know what you do. I know how you cheat. You can't stay here. I know all your business. She don't. <laughs> right. right. 